Hello everyone and welcome. Today I bring you a new safety device that I just came across and I think this is a must have. This is a flammable gas leak detector from Top Test and this item is very inexpensive at under $20 and can be a real lifesaver and I mean that in every meaning of the word. Have you ever wondered if you had a gas leak in your home or RV? Did you have to call out the gas company or a technician to locate the leak for you? Well now you don't have to do that. Whether you're unsure if you have a gas leak, and I mean any type of gas leak, as I will explain, or if you're doing some sort of repair and want to be sure that your connections are done properly so you don't have any gas leaks. This device can help you instantly detect whether your connections are done properly or if there's any leak anywhere. Detecting leaks can not only save you money, but it can also save your life. You don't want to be asphyxiated by gas or have an explosion due to a leak that you didn't know existed. So today we're going to look at this little device and see how it performs. But before we do that, if you enjoy watching Honest Tool and Product Reviews plus helpful DIY projects, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can notify every time I produce another product review video or DIY video. Alright, let's look at this guy here. There's a shot of the box for you. Let's open this guy up and see what we got. Alright guys, so when you unbox this puppy, this is everything you get. Now this is the flammable gas leak detector pen from Top Test, available on Amazon, link in description below. At the time of making this video, this unit retails for $19.99, but they also have a 30% discount coupon on their Amazon page, making it even cheaper than that, basically bringing it down to around $14, which is way cheaper than every other brand that I saw on Amazon. So what do you get when you unbox this guy? Well, you get the pen itself. You get a couple of batteries because that's what it runs on. You get the owner's manual that tells you everything about how to use this guy. And it comes in a multitude of different languages. So you should not have any trouble reading that. And it has a nice little storage container if you want to keep it in this little pouch when you're not using it. So that's very nice right there. Now, the dimensions on this guy is only six and a half inches in length by three quarter inches in thickness. It's pretty much like the size of a pen. There's a Sharpie right there if you want to use that for comparison. It'll fit in your pocket very conveniently, no trouble at all. Now, this guy also comes with a three year warranty. Any trouble whatsoever, they'll just send you a new one. There's nothing really to fix inside, so you get a new one if you have any problems. The operating temperature on this guy is from zero degrees centigrade to 50 degrees centigrade or 32 degrees Fahrenheit to 122 degrees Fahrenheit and from 20 to 80 percent relative humidity. Now this guy comes in three different colors. It comes in orange as you see here. It also comes in green and a red black combination. Now this guy is really good at detecting all sorts of flammable gases. It can detect LPG, methane, ethane, propane, butane, natural gas, coal gas, gasoline vapor, sewer gas, liquefied natural gas, and all sorts of other flammable gases. It has a fast 0.5 second detection rate, so it'll detect gases very, very quickly. You don't have to hang around for a long time to figure it out. It has a calibration rate of only 30 seconds, so you must calibrate it first when you start using it in a clean environment. All that means is that you turn it on in some place where there is no leak, so it can do its own internal calibration, and after 30 seconds, it's good to go and start testing anywhere you want. Now, the unit must be positioned anywhere from 1 to 5 centimeters away from the leak, or that would be half an inch to 2 inches close to the leak. That's all you have to do. If my hand is the leak, you have to be within a certain range there to be able to detect the leak. You can't be way out here to test it. So it's that easy to do. This unit gives you a visual and audible alarm where the screen turns red and it has a large beeping sound alarm that tells you that there is a gas leak. The graph on there, and let me show you, has a nice little graph. And to put in the batteries, all you do is unscrew the top and you put in the batteries right there. Positive side goes down, put it in there, screw the top back on, and that's it. Turn it on, it only has two buttons on there, the on off button and the sensitivity button. That's it. There's nothing else to do. Very simple to use. You turn it on, hold it to turn it on, and there you go. You can see right there it has a nice little graph and you see right now it's doing its calibration. And once it stops doing that, then that tells you that the calibration is complete. But that graph right there, as you see it increases and it goes down, it will increase or drop down depending on the amount of gas that is in the area. The more gas, the higher it goes. The less gas, the lower it goes. Simple as that. And you see right now, it's green because this is a clean environment. 
it will turn red as I will show you if there is a gas leak nearby. So we'll look at that in just a second as we're doing some testing. And the alarm will continue to go off until the gas rate goes below 5%. It also has an automatic off function after 5 minutes. If you put it down somewhere like this and forget about it, it'll turn itself off after 5 minutes to conserve the battery. It has a dual sensitivity range of high and low where it can detect gases on the high level from 500 to 1000 parts per million or on the low level from 50 to 500 parts per million. So all you do to change the gas level is press the S button right there. When it's on, it's high. When it's off, it's low. So either one of the two, you check and see whichever one is best for your situation. This unit is great for DIYers, RVers, homeowners, etc. It can be used indoors or outdoors for testing your gas stove, gas grill, HVAC unit, gas fireplace, gas furnace, open sewer lines, etc. It can be very useful for anyone that wants to be sure that any work they've done with gas connections is done correctly and there's no leaks. It can be useful for anyone also that wants to be able to check to make sure that there's no flammable gas intrusion at a moment's notice without having to call a technician or the gas company and wait for days for them to possibly arrive. So if you want to be able to check for any kind of gas smells or anything around your property, you can do this with this unit at a moment's notice anytime on your own. And then you can always call a professional after that if you want to be sure and have them take care of the problem for you. But for most DIYers, this will tell you exactly what to take care of, where it is, and you can take care of it yourself. All right, so let's do a little bit of testing with this guy. All right, guys, so let's start doing a little bit of testing with this unit and see how it performs. Now, this does have an audible alarm. I don't know how loud it's going to be. So if you're wearing earphones or anything like that, you're forewarned. Be careful. Like I said, I haven't tested it yet. I don't know how loud it's going to get. So let's see. As you see right there on the graph, it is clear there is no gas around in this vicinity. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in some gasoline. I just poured it into this little cup right here, and we're going to see... Once we start getting closer to it, if it'll detect the gas and how much does it detect. I'm holding it so you can see the graph right there. As we get closer to it, you see how it starts going up and instantly detects the gasoline gas right there, the vapor. I, I have it about two or three inches away from it and it still senses it. Obviously, it goes down, but if you put it closer to that, then it notices the vapor very quickly. So it does notice that gas very, very well right there. And as it goes down, you see that as it goes away, it'll start going down again. And the alarm turns off and the screen goes green again. So that tells you right there how that works. You see how I sensed it? No problem, whatever. So if you have some kind of a gas leak somewhere, gasoline fuel leak, you can find it with this, no trouble at all. Now let's do a little bit of testing with this guy right here, one of these little starter sticks right here. I don't know what kind of gas it has inside. It's liquefied. I don't know if it's like a liquefied natural gas, propane, butane, whatever it is. I don't know. But let's test it and see exactly how this works. Now this guy, if you press the button by itself, no gas comes out. So I have to start it and blow it out to be able to see how that works. So let's check that out. Let's see. You see it has gas coming out of it, right? Now let's see how that works. There you go. You notice that it senses the gas. As I put that away, it still senses the gas for a little bit and then it starts going down. So you see the graph right there. Let me put it closer so you guys can see right there. You see right there, it's green. And you see right there how it goes crazy when the gas is nearby. As it settles down, there's no more gas. It'll start going green again. There you go. So that shows you exactly how well that works right there, and that'll work with anything. I don't have any natural gas leaks, at least I don't think so. I just did some work on my water heater a little while back. Let's go check and see if those gas connections are good and tight. I checked it with the foamy water method back then when I installed it, and it seemed to be okay because I didn't have this guy at that time. Let's go check that out and see how it looks now. All right, guys. So here we're looking at all the uh, gas connections that I have in my house. There you have the yellow line, which is the line going to the water heater. And then the line back there against the wall, that goes to my dryer. 
So let's see, I already connected this a long time ago, and I checked it, like I said, with a soapy water connection. Let's see if I have any problems or if I have any leaks using this new pen that I just got, and it'll tell me if my work was accurate previously, or if I've been losing money all this time and uh, leaking out gas. So let's check it and see. You have the pen, I already turned it on and allowed it to calibrate itself. You see that it's ready to go. So let's do some testing and see what it tells me. And right there, it looks like everything is good with this connection right here. I'm putting it right up to it so it's easy for you guys to see what I'm doing. You normally don't need to put it this close. But uh, so far, no leaks uh, anywhere in this general vicinity. Anywhere that the gas would be coming out of here is this right there and there's no leaks. Let me test it back there against the wall. Okay, there you go. So that gives you some peace of mind that the work that was done was done correctly. I checked my own work and it was done correctly. Now, if you were to pay a technician to do this and you wanted some peace of mind, you could have this pen and check it for yourself. And that way you know that the work the technician did was actually done correctly. Never hurts to double check somebody else's work. All right, guys, there you have it. A review and demonstration of a very useful, convenient, and inexpensive gas leak detection device. I think this device is a must-have for just about everyone out there. Whether you're a homeowner, RVer, DIYer, or renter, you need to know if you have any kind of gas leak in your living area at a moment's notice. Why wait days or weeks to have a technician come out and check it for you? You may also have to pay a fee to have the technician come out and do a leak detection test for you. With this pen, you can check it for yourself at a moment's notice, and this device costs less than 20 bucks, so it won't break your budget. It's also extremely easy to use, no technical knowledge required. If you think there's some kind of strange gas smell where you live and you can't seem to find it or where it's coming from, this little device can help you track it down and take care of it yourself or have someone fix it for you. Stay safe and check out their Amazon page for all the details. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now.